Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing my December wrap up part one. This one's going to be a little bit different than my usual December wrap ups. Usually I am talking about the books that I've read so far this month, but I haven't read that many books so far this month because honestly I've been doing vlogmas and vlogmas is taking up all of my free time. So this is standard. This is usually what happens with vlogmas. I And in general, I don't read a lot in December because things just get really busy. There's always so much going on in December and it makes it really hard to read. December is always my lowest reading month in terms of like the number of books that I actually complete. But I still wanted to make this video because like I said, I'm doing Vlogmas if you weren't aware by the onslaught of videos <laughs> happening in your sub boxes. And I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a wrap up slash check in slash respond sort of universally to you guys about the videos that I've been putting up lately. Nothing like major or anything like that, but you know, I put up I don't know, like 15 videos almost this month, uh, maybe like 12 or 13. I don't know exactly what the number is, but I put up more videos this month than I have in like the last three months combined, I think. So yes, I thought a little check-in would be okay, even though it's not necessarily about books. So the first thing I'm going to mention is that as a reminder, I'm doing a Q&A at the end of the month. If you did not see the first video that I put up in December, basically that's where I want you to put any questions you want me to answer in the Q&A. I will link it up above. We're heading into the last week of Vlogmas, which is another thing that I realized, which is weird. And so yeah, this is the last week of the month and so I'm going to be filming the Q&A uh, probably early next week. I'm thinking like Monday or Tuesday depending and so if you want to get in questions for the Q&A that will be going up towards the end of the week, leave them now while you still can. <laughs> so yes, that's item number one as if I have a official list. I'm not that prepared. Number two, I just wanted to say a general thank you. People have been very like responsive towards me being back in general and the videos that I've been putting up, which I'm always really grateful for. Specifically the life update video where I talk about my new job and getting burned out and budgeting and all those different things. Such a strong response to that video that I was not expecting at all. So thank you all very, very much for your kind words and comments and even just like people being like, you're inspiring me. Like that that's like something that's mind boggling to me. But also I very much appreciate just like all of the general comments and well wishes and congratulations and whatnot that have been happening. Some of you guys have been asking for like budgeting related videos after I posted that one and I am willing to do it, but I'm not exactly sure what you guys want or what I should make a video about in related to budgeting. Like I feel like the general budgeting video that I posted a while ago still basically represents sort of what my budget is. Like there's a couple of items in there that I've changed or adjusted, but for the most part, my budget hasn't changed very much. I don't want to do like a you need a budget tutorial because there are plenty of them out there. So yeah, I don't really know what you guys want to see. So if you have ideas about that or you have something specific you want to see from me, definitely let me know down below. I mean, even if I don't do it during Vlogmas, I'm always willing to like take suggestions of videos I can do in the future. So yeah, I I want to hear those ideas. So like I a lot of people are just like do more budgeting content and I'm just like I'm not really sure what that means. So if you have something specific you want to see for me, definitely let me know. Also as a general comment for anyone who saw the cooking video that I put up of the chocolate pecan mini pies, everyone was like, oh those look delicious. They are so freaking delicious. I've never ha made a dessert that has gone so quickly. Like my family has sweet tooths, but usually like when there's a dessert in the house, it takes a while for it to get eaten. But this one went super fast. Um, so if you haven't checked out that one yet and you need something to make for like a Christmas party that's not cookies, I highly recommend it and it's super easy to do. So yeah, I think that's all I wanted to do in terms of like touching base on the videos that I've put up so far this month. Uh, as a reminder, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I've been putting up videos over on the Book Riot channel. So if you haven't been checking those out, they're all in the Vlogmas playlist if you just want to see the ones that I've put up so far this month. But in general, I recommend subscribing to the Book Riot channel. But I also did a video over there that a lot of you guys might be interested in. And if you didn't see it, I talked about uh, my favorite books of the past 10 years, which was a really fun video to do and got like a really positive response, which it made me really happy because it got like more views than typically I get them over on the Book Riot channel. Also, the 2019 Read Harder tests are out and I made a video 
basically announcing them. Um, I also did a YouTube premiere over there, which is fun. And I think I'm going to try one over on my channel at some point in the near future. So you guys can look out for that. So yes, that's everything in terms of like video stuff, check-in things, chatty whatevers that I wanted to do, chatty whatevers. Oh boy. So onto the books that I've been reading. So like I said, I haven't been reading very much. I've technically, as of this recording, have only finished like a book and a half. So I thought I'll just talk about those really quickly. The first one that I, the first one, the only one that I've fully completed so far this month is All You Can Ever Know by Nicole Chung. I believe that's the exact title. This is a nonfiction book that came out this year that I have been really excited to read and I my whole finally came in at the library and so I prioritized reading that one. This is a memoir that Nicole Chung wrote talking about her experience uh, growing up as an, a Korean girl adopted into a white family. She talks about her struggle sort of identifying with her family and the other people in her town and the difficulties that she had growing up. She also talks about though um, her experience with trying to find her birth family and connecting with them. Like I said this is a book that I've been really looking forward to reading because I'm someone who has a lot of interest in adopting and foster kids and things like that in the foster system. And so I'm always looking for books that talk about that experience. And one of the things that I've just personally anecdotally noticed as I'm picking up those types of books is the way they sort of gloss over some of the difficulties of that experience. And Nicole Chung even talks about how like a lot of times when you are reading books about like adoption or foster kids or anything like that, um, or specifically adoption, usually you don't get to hear a lot from the actual adoptees and their experiences. It's mostly about the parents struggling to have kids and then getting the blessing of a child through adoption. Um, you don't really know what the experience is like very much for the kids themselves. So Nicole Chung just talks about her own personal experiences and I thought it was really beautiful and really moving and just like a really great I don't want to say eye-opening because I didn't find like anything that she said like super shocking but I thought it was just like very honest about her own personal experiences with her parents her birth parents and the rest of the family and just like her struggles and insecurities and all of those different things that come with being an adopted kid and especially being part of a transracial adoption so I gave that one a four out of five stars really really enjoyed Enjoyed it and highly recommend it if that's a book that you are interested in. And then the half book that I am working my way through is Severance by Ling Ma. Um, I was sent this one by Book of the Month. I'm really enjoying it. I probably would be done with this book by now if I had more free time because it's not very long um, and it's a pretty quick read like it's really engaging when I'm reading it I'm super into it the problem is just that I haven't had a lot of time to really sit down with it if you aren't aware this is like a near future sort of dystopia type of setting this major disease has broken out and the main character in this book Candace worked at this like book publisher basically in New York City and it's about her sort of going through her life right before the outbreak happened as well as you're following her in present day as she like joins this other group of survivors who seem to be relatively immune to the disease um, as they're trying to figure out what they're going to do next. Um, she's following this guy named Bob who's like the leader of the pack and she's not really sh she doesn't really trust him very much. She has a lot of skepticism about the things that are going on but she is following them because like they're some of the only people around and alive and she needs a way to survive and so yeah things sort of like carry on from there. But yeah like I said I'm really enjoying this so far. I kind of wish I had picked this up earlier like I think this came out over the summer or maybe like early fall. I'm working my way through this one. I'll probably do a proper wrap up of it um, at the end of the month but I do recommend this one a lot if you like those sort of dystopian type stories. So yeah that's everything that I have for this video. I just wanted to do a quick wrap up slash check in because I feel like if I waited till the end of the month I would have had too much too many things to really talk about um, and I also kind of wanted to do a little bit of a check in in the midpoint of Vlogmas um, or I guess we're past the midpoint at, right now because doesn't go till the end of the month. Anyways, so let me know down below how you guys are doing on your reading so far this month. If you've been reading more than I have been, if you are working on any goals. And speaking of goals, I put up a couple of goals related videos this week. So definitely check those out if you haven't already. Otherwise, yeah, just let me know in general how things are going. And as like a final reminder, if you want to leave me questions for the Q&A, please do so. Otherwise, I will see you guys again on Monday. Yes, that's the next video that will be going live. <laughs> Bye.